hi there internet welcome to another video welcome to my youtube channel this is the cube c tech um today we're going to be installing casa os on proxmox ve now if you don't know what proxmox or casa os is find out it's uh it's uh something that you definitely need so let's get started guys so the first thing you're gonna need is a working install of proxmox make sure that you have a template uh, preferably a linux template i'm gonna be using ubuntu 2304 or 2310 um, uh, template and uh, we're gonna go through the steps so the first thing we're going to do guys is to create the container this is an lxc container let's go ahead and do that so we're going to give it a host name host name is going to be casa dash youtube for my case we're going to give it a password confirm and then next we're going to choose the template this is something that you should have have done before we started this video um if you guys don't know how to do that you can always request a video in the comments below i can show you how to download a template i'm gonna choose 2310 next the discs we're gonna leave it at eight gigs only for this demonstration but you, you can add the number here that you require for your use case next same thing here for cpu honestly we're gonna leave it at one core it's not even gonna use zero per zero point five percent of this next memory again i'm gonna leave the default next so over here uh in my case i'm going to leave uh it at uh, dhcp for you you might want to do a, uh, a static ip something like 10.1 slash 24 or something like that either way if you have any questions leave them in the, in the comments below um everything else here i'm gonna leave default dns for me, I'm going to have to add a domain. So for me, it's going to be this one and one dot one as the DNS server. Next is to make sure everything looks okay, that there's nothing out of place and hit finish. This is going to take a few seconds and it should really be super fast. Once this is done, guys, is to go to your container and hit start all right it's very fast and it has started we're gonna log in remember the password that we just set if that works that is let me try again all right we're in first thing we have to do is to make sure that the container is up to date to do that we're gonna have to run a an update command so this is ubuntu we're gonna run apt update that's gonna run it's gonna take a few seconds it's gonna basically tell us how many package can be upgraded and how to do it. But in our case, we're gonna use the up command, apt upgrade. And since we don't want to respond to any of the questions that they're gonna ask us in the install pro process, we're gonna hit dash yes. In this case, this means that any questions that you might ask, the answer is always yes. This is gonna take a few seconds, a few more seconds. Please be patient. All right, we're almost there. All right, guys, now that it, we've installed uh, our container, it's up and running, we've set it up, we've updated it. Now it's time to go find the install command for Casa OS. The thing to do is to go to casaos.io. Now, I usually don't recommend uh, going on websites and copying the code, but in our case, this is the code I'm going to leave uh this line here in the description below i'm gonna go back to our pve and run it oh yes forgot to mention we have to install car and uh, they tell us how to do it so apt install car and then enter yes now that we have car installed we can hit the up error key arrow key and then we're uh back to the command and we can hit enter this process is going to take a while. By a while, I mean like a minute or two, it's not that long. This part always gets stuck, so don't worry if you see this, it's gonna get unstuck 
and continue. All right, guys. So in your case, you might have a, an IP address in front of this. It might tell you CASA is running at this address, but if you have nothing, do not worry. We'll find the IP address. So the IP address on how to find it is to type in this command, IP space ADDR and hit enter. And once you've done that, you'll see that your ETH0 has this IP and the IP is 10.10.1.215 in my case. And what we're going to do is to select it and hopefully open it a new tab. But if this doesn't work, let's say go to and see what happens. Here we go. So now you can see that Casa OS is already running on this IP address here that we didn't select because we chose DHCP in our install. So now that it's running, I'm going to zoom in here for you guys. Very beautiful looking interface, I might add. We're going to hit next. And here is where we create our user name, our user account. This is your Casa OS user account. It's different than your root account that we set up during the actual container setup. So what we're going to do is create a username and the password and we should be in. So Casa OS dashboard will get the new latest feed blood you accept. I guess. All right. So now that we're in, you can see guys, the interface is really beautiful. Everything is laid up for you. You can see your usage here. Let me expand here. You can see your uh, CPU usage and your RAM usage. In our case, we're already at 52% on our 512 megs. So everything here, guys, I'm going to let you uh, explore uh, for yourself. The only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to install an application as an example for you to see how easy it is to install an, an application. And maybe in the upcoming videos, I might explore a little bit some of the features that we have in Casa OS. So let's go to the App Store. And as you can see, guys, the App Store is very feature complete. You can install applications or Docker containers from this App Store, or you can do a custom install, which I'm not going to go uh, through, uh, but uh, you can try this out for yourself. It's very easy to do. Today, though, what we're going to do is that we're going to run our first container, which is going to be Memos. So this is going to be a Docker container. And as you guys will be able to see, it's a one click install, which when we click on the install button, memos will be installed. And it's really that simple. There is no other things to do, uh, but push install. I'm going to do that and then we'll see what happens. All right, just like that, Memos is installed. And as you guys can see, we have a beautiful tile with a beautiful icon. Here we have a feather uh, to represent that you'll be writing using Memos. And this is another application that I'm going to be doing a video on and how it works and all of the good stuff. So it's going to be uh, another video. So Memos, we're going to hit the icon to open it and as you can see it already is running on port 5230 and you can already log in with the default username and password just like that we've created our first application so guys that was taking a look at casa os it's uh, casa os on proxmox casa os is very uh, interesting software and very good for beginners who wants to start using Docker containers and, and don't necessarily know how to do all of the Docker Compose stuff, but you want to start, Casa OS is a good start for you. So um, that's been it for me, the QC Tech. Please, please subscribe and comment, like this video, and uh, it encourages me to create even more videos in the future. Thank you guys.
See you in the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.